I'm Gia Nicolaides. It's day 126 of the national lockdown. The latest figures from government show that over 11,000 new cases have been detected in the past day. The number of active cases, people who still have the virus, is over 165,000 and the recovery rate is sitting at 63%. One of the big issues of the day is that police have now opened an investigation into apparent regulation transgressions by mourners at Andrew Mlangeni's funeral proceedings. Footage and pictures show dozens of people clustered around the ANC stalwart's coffin outside his home in Soweto, with no social distancing and more than 50 people gathered. Transport Minister Fakile Mbalula, who posted some of those pictures on social media, explained the lack of social distancing by saying it was a spontaneous thing. A look into what British American Tobacco will be arguing in its challenge of the ban on tobacco sales. It's calling the ban on tobacco smoke and mirrors. BATSA will argue that Regulation 45 is unconstitutional because it violates the rights of all the players in the supply chain and that it denies the right of smokers to make their own choices and limits their rights. They'll also be trying on an infringement to the constitutional right to privacy because by stopping people from buying cigarettes, the state is intruding in the private sphere and limiting the right to human dignity. Presidency spokesperson Kusela Diko and her husband insist that there was no corruption in the awarding of a personal protective equipment contract from the Gauteng government, but have conceded that going into business with the state was an error of judgment. The contract, valued at more than 120 million rand, has sparked calls for those implicated to be sacked. At the same time, Finance Minister Tito Mboweni says Treasury is looking at centralizing the purchase of personal protective equipment in a bid to prevent fraud and corruption. He's also emphasized that not every contract or tender awarded to deal with the COVID-19 crisis is corrupt. And in Brazil, the country with the second highest number of infections and deaths in the pandemic, Healthcare workers are volunteering to test some of the most promising experimental vaccines. With the infection rates being so high in that country, it may make an ideal testing ground for potential vaccines against the virus. For more on the pandemic, go to our website, ewn.co.za, and remember to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. For more, go to ewn.co.za.